Good morning, everybody. Mike Baki from PrincetonTrader.com here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and what did we see on Friday? We saw a sell-off on the jobs number that came down and breached this lower Bollinger Band. Following the initial sell-off, we had what was basically a pretty gradual uh, move higher. And I had mentioned Friday afternoon to my folks that the whole thing looked like a gigantic retest of the middle Bollinger Band. And here we are. We are sitting on the middle Bollinger Band. 15, 51 half. As I tape this, you're, you're looking at it right there. Today, to me, on my with my technical analysis, today is a very, very important day. Because one of two things is going to happen. Either this middle band is going to be resistance, and if it is confirmed resistance, just as it was confirmed support, way back here for these 10 sessions or so, if it's confirmed resistance that's reliable, that the bears can rely on, then they can begin to work on some of these lower levels, uh, 1533, 1527, uh, uh, 27 to 26, which is the red line there, the 50-day exponential moving average, and start getting back down into the areas that they really want to be into, which is 1520 uh, and, and beyond. But they're not going anywhere if they can't convert that green line and turn it into resistance. From the bull's perspective, despite all the fireworks, despite the, the lousy number on Friday, the bears have still not been able to put in two consecutive red days since February 20th and February 21st. We've been talking about this on the webcast for two weeks and they still haven't been able to do it. If today is a green day, a green day would certainly also include getting back above the middle band. These Bollinger Bands are incredibly tight as you can see here from the Bollinger Band. With, I mean it is, it is as low as it's been since September 2012. They're as tight as they've been. So when this move ultimately gets decided, it's going to run a long way. If the bulls can convert the middle band, there's really nothing to stop them from getting back to the upper band in the area of 1563 and going back to challenge 1568. There's really no in-between here, everybody. The bands are so tight that this move is going to be gigantic and the move is either going to be a downside move that is born at the middle band resistance or a move to the upside in the areas you know headed above 68 towards 73 to 1600 that is going to be born with a close above the middle band that gets worked on tomorrow so the bears have really really got to perform today uh, let me show you one more chart this is a 15 minute chart of the e-mini this rectangle represents the area from basically 1547.75 up to 1551.5, basically the middle band. It represents a double pivot level at 1549, Fibonacci levels and a 20-day pivot down at 1547, and the, uh, a key number for us which is 1549.5 all the way up to the, uh, to the middle Bollinger Band, 1451.5. So you've got this four handle zone more or less and you know you've heard me say the term before win the zone win the day that's really really true and you can see throughout the night that the bears were trying to hold underneath the zone they lost the zone the bulls are now trying to make this zone resist or support rather if they're able to do that if the bulls are able to make the zone resistance they will be able to go to work on some of these higher levels from last week. Um, the question, you know, the question remains with the bands this tight, trading dead center on the bands, on the middle band, with a 68 high and a 33 low, and we're trading 51. We are equidistant right now. You should not be making any big bets. You should certainly not be making any bull predictions. We are in an uptrend. So if you have a lean, it has to be to the upside because the bears have not demonstrated an ability to do much more than, than run in the downside for a day at a time. But, you know, we don't flip coins. We have to watch the band, wait for it to, to convert one way or the other. So this time, this moment in time in the market is a time for watching, 
and a time for evaluating before we decide whether we're going to, going to expand these bands downward or expand them upward. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com for NTMarkets.com. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.